Okay, so you want to show the navigation path on top of your uh, Excel sheet. You want, it, you want it to show somewhere on your on your sheet so that next time you pull the hard copy out uh, and you want to find it on your computer, you can just follow that path. Um, I, like most things, this is easy to do, but somehow Excel manages to make it the most counterintuitive way possible of you know actually performing this feat. So <laughs> I will show you how to do it. It's not hard to do, but it's just not intuitive. So uh, I also did a detailed uh, uh, way of doing this in writing on my hub pages page. So I have that linked below in the comment section there, right above the comment section. But in the meantime, let's, let's get this done. So here's your Excel sheet. Um, what we're going to do here is just go into File, um, up here, the File Mark up here, and go Print, and go Print Preview. Okay. Now you can see there's nothing up here that indicates that, uh, you know, that there's any sort of navigation path. So we want to put something in there. So go to Page Setup. Okay. Page Setup. And then you want to go to Header and Footer. Okay, and then you want to go down here to custom header. So your custom header will let you, uh, you know, show whether you want it, this here in the left section. You can put it like in the upper left here, put it in like the center section, or you can put it in the right section. I, I like to put it in the right section, uh, I guess cause, just because it keeps it away from, from whatever I title it up here. But anyway, uh, go click in the right section. Now you're going to want to click the button here uh, that it lets you insert the file path. Right? Looks very intuitive, right? Like very clear which one of these is the file path button. <laughs> it isn't. So look, just click this one. It's like a folder. It does say insert file path. If you if you hover over it, just click on that, put it in there, hit OK, hit OK, and now you can see it up in here, right up in there. And that'll do it. And you can just back out of your print preview or you can go ahead and print it or whatever it is you're going to do with this. That's it. Thanks a lot.